हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर विनिमा शर्मा फ्रॉम वेलिंकर्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट कम अगेन ऑन द पोडियम टू स्पीक अबाउट समथिंग रिलेटेड टू एच आर बेसिकली वेन वी टॉक अबाउट एंगेजमेंट नो वट इज एंगेजमेंट वेन यू गेट अप इन द मॉर्निंग यू डोंट गेट अ फीलिंग दैट ओके आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो टूडे वाई नॉट अनदर हॉलीडे ओ माई गॉड अनदर डे टू ऑफ वर्क ओ माई गॉड आई हैव टू ट्रेवल टू वर्क देर आर सो मेनी डिफरेंट फीलिंग्स दैट कम्स टू योर हेड नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इज these feelings come to your head because you are not engaged with your organization here the role of manager is very important because he is responsible to keep you engaged so that you get a proper feeling get job satisfaction and the desire to learn desire to grow desire to explore so many things in and around in the industry is fulfilled so let's study about employee engagement now why what is we need to in these sessions we need to study about so many factors first is was it a, uh, what it is why, why does it matter role of hr aspects categories and need for employee engagement now what is it it is work engagement or worker engagement the concept is from business management it's very important because here what we are going to study being a part of business management course now here hr is very important and a functional requirement for an organization to stand up to the industry norms now here what happens is the employee he is supposed to be a most important and integral part of the organization now he we need to keep him engaged so that he feels happy and so that he feels satisfied with the work as well as the environment it was conceptualized by mr william a kan in 1980 who described it as engagement at work as harnessing of employees to the work roles basically the work roles as well as the work culture as well as the profile everything matching together is a coordination of things one needs to understand that these coordination is very important to keep mentally satisfied the employee if he is mentally happy he'll be there on work on time and will never be absenteeism is automatically reduced an engaged employee is fully involved and enthusiastic about his or her work and thus will work for organization's interest so definitely when there is a correlation between the individual interest as well as the organization interest automatically when both collated together the organization will grow as well as the individual will grow next please what is it it is employee engagement exists when the employee feels physically intellectually emotionally attached to their work now according to kan when he says the employee should be emotionally that is he should feel it is my company the company is mine and hence i have to run it properly and i need to see that the company grows because i can see my growth along with it at the same time physically he should be present because every important task cannot be done without his presence so he should feel like an important person in the organization he should be intellectually attached because what happens is if he gets a learning experience explore ex- to explore so many things in the industry he feels that okay i am growing intellectually i get to learn so many things uh, financially i am growing work, the position wise i am growing so everything when there is a growth the employee will never leave the organization work life work and personal well being very important if the organization has got a su- such a culture where the work and life both are balanced together and the person grows further so there is peace at house there is peace at workplace the extent to an employee is psychologically present is an organization role values match and fit it's very important if i believe in certain factors and my organization also believes in somewhat similar factors definitely i will correlate tell me what you want me to do and i'll do it this is a example and the person who thinks like this is engaged the person is ready to do anything for the company the primary drivers of employee engagement first is intangible assets now what are intangible assets now intangible assets are certain factors what the person gets satisfied from though which cannot be seen it can be in the form of behavior it can be in the in the form of learning knowledge enhancement so on and so forth so what we say is the employee feels nice about it the next point is retention and war for talent now basically an organization is looking out for skills so that that can be enhanced and further be utilized in the organization now here what happens is the person is supposed to be retained the person who's got a desire to learn desire to grow he is engaged totally 100% focused towards the organization everybody wants such a worker in the organization 
so the person does not mind training such a person at the same time he becomes more talented next is popular appeal now the moment the person is focused the person is engaged in an organization the appeal is quite popular saying that okay let us train this particular person so that he can take care of my certain things see everywhere there is a motive behind doing certain factors if they are keeping you engaged you are giving them back in a same way so similarly it's always give and take relationship overwhelming impact the moment the person is engaged when he is retained there is a talent that is developing he is growing in his own perspective definitely there is a great impact in his performance which ultimately impacts the industry on the whole so basically one needs to understand that one particular individual when he is engaged can make so much of a difference so if all the people working for the organization are engaged in the appropriate way they will be also they're making lots of difference to the growth of the organization engagement now engagement engaged workforce means there are supportive co-workers job and career satisfaction high performing organization satisfied and loyal customers productive profitable organization high performing workforce and then uh, committed employees and credible leadership now here when we talk about that engaged workforce is what it can happen due to credible leadership the credible leadership is very important because the person every person needs some guidance some direction so that he can walk on the path of growth for the organization as well as for self so if there is a credible leadership he believes in that particular person and walks thoroughly then comes supportive co-workers in case of crisis in case of some problems what happens is the person will feel that okay i've got some support nobody will allow me to fall down if i stuck somewhere there is someone to help me out so that is uh, supportive co-workers job and career satisfaction the profile in which you are working automatically makes the day for the person he feels that okay i got up in the morning i have to do this because he is interested in the work so hence this job and career satisfaction is very important high performing organization now everywhere there are different personalities working for the organization some personalities are such in the around, in the surrounding that what happens is the person feels that nobody is working why should i feel but where there is a environment where there is high performance is required automatically the energy to perform well is like automatically developed like so for example if you go for a party and everybody is dancing you also feel like dancing in the same way when everybody is performing you feel like performing but all these factors have to be taken care by the manager of that particular place very important the manager has to regulate all these things so the employee is engaged now once the worker is engaged then he gets a committed employees high performing workers productive and profitable organization and satisfied and loyal customers ultimately all the goals for an organization are fulfilled why does it matter now it matters because employee engaged employees perform 24 20% more then the less engaged employees because they are there on time 100% focused without working any overtime within the particular time frame they finish off all the task 87% are likely to leave the organization then employees with low levels of engagement now 87% will definitely not leave the organization because they are getting whatever they want they are happy with the work satisfaction is there knowledge enhancement is there and these are the most important ingredients for a individual to re- be retained in the organization are more innovative now engaged employees are more creative in doing tasks why because they are interested in doing whatever they are doing they see to it that the organization's benefits more and more at the same time they see to it that how they can make a difference in a efficient and effective way are more committed to customer satisfaction now since ultimately the customers are going to give profits to the organization so they are more focused towards customer satisfaction the customer is satisfied the organization gets a name in the or in the industry contribute more to the organization than the less, less engaged peers now definitely it happens is when i am interested in doing a particular task definitely i'll contribute more i will not think whether it comes under my profile it does not come under, under my profile and i'll be more happier only for the end result so to get that end result i will work as a team rather than working in isolation consistently to go the extra mile very important i don't mind stretching myself to get the exact result what i want 
the impact what I want. Because it is not only for the organization where I am working for, it is for myself I am working for. And that is what is employee engagement. Now there are certain research analysis which has been conducted by me in a frame so that you can person can understand why employee engagement is important. Research analysis on studies done show enga employee engagement is not simple. Leadership driver initiative is very important. Now though we say it's very easy, give the employee what he wants, but the human desires are never ending. You can't give them whatever they want, but whatever can make a difference to the organization and to the engagement levels, that person can, the manager can understand all those factors and those things can be given to the particular individual. Now, first is the person who has to take this initiative is the leader. As we had spoken this earlier also, the credible leader has to understand that why the person is not performing. There are certain factors behind. So rather than looking out only at the person, what's going on in his head and the reasons for going on those things in his head has to be understood by the leader. Other research studies show that investment in talent and relationships lead to higher engagement levels. Definitely, if I call up a person and say, happy birthday to you, he will feel nice. I send a bouquet, he will feel nicer. And if I wish his child also, he will feel the best. So I need to see that how I can engage an individual. Because the person will, is emotionally attached to his family. When the organization also attaches to his family, automatically everything operates in a functional way. Similarly, if the person is sick, just give a call and ask, how are you today? So what happens is that gives him a feeling that I am wanted in the organization. So these are small, small gestures that keep the, the employee engaged in the organization. Human resource strategy on employee welfare is high priority in corporate world. Now these are various strategies because human resource is one of the most important factor. Whichever field you go, whatever you do, Whatever aspects, whether it's production, whether it's marketing, whether it's materials, whether it's supply, whatever it is, everywhere human resources involved. And with human resources, you have to keep them engaged. So you have to in get indulged into so many strategies so that the employee is engaged, understanding his psychological requirement. These are all necessary for successful employee engagement, positive environment, emotional. Now, this, for the successful employee engagement, what is important is Positive environment, emotional attachment, change in attitude and behavior, and good working culture in the organization. Now, this is a proposed model of employee engagement. Now, if we here we can see the stages, the HR approaches, and the outcomes. Now, here in stages, we can see the first stages of recruitment. As we know, the first step of entering an organization is recruitment. Now, in recruitment, the first HR approach should be the right employee and realistic view of the job. Now, sometimes it happens when you go for the interview, when you talk about the various aspects of job, you don't speak about the hazards the person has to face. So, realistic view of the job is very important. Then comes the outcomes. The outcome would be right approach, skills, attitude and knowledge. Now, automatically the person will feel whether I have the right skill, attitude, because he comes with the right aspect, the right aspiration and the right attitude inside the organization. And accordingly, he will be engaged. Second stage is strong induction and orientation program. Now this enhances the perception about the organization, vision and mission. If I see a structure in which I feel that I can grow in this organization as the organization grows because their mission and my mission sometimes might, there is a probability of collating it. So what happens is I'll focus myself more and I feel that okay, this is the right place where I'm working for. Understanding of work environment. Now, ultimately, when I know the vision, the mission, and the approach of various aspects, I will automatically understand the environment and work accordingly. Rigorous training and development. Next is for that, the HR approach should be communication skills, leadership development, skill tra training, and team building. Now, when I work in an organization, I can't function in isolation. Now, here, during orient rigorous training and development, I should be told that how in a group, I have, I'm supposed to function because you can't work in isolation. You have to grow. Now, in such a case, what happens is once I learn these skills that I have to be a leader, I have to train others as well as I'm a part of a team. I need to see to all those aspects and see to it. Ultimately, the goal is achieved. So automatically, I feel more engaged. Now, the outcomes would be professionally, professional skill, talent development, better performance, confidence initiative, cooperation, 
coordination and we feeling very important we are a family we have to work for the family and we have to achieve the goal for the family next stage is incentives and rewards now incentives and rewards basically the compensation benefits the hr approach should be compensation benefits what are the things what i need to get see along with job satisfaction i need money i need money as a part of growth i need designations as a part of growth now if that is provided to, to me along with it i would become a life member of that particular organization but simultaneously i need learning also so that i don't stagnate commitment motivation and involvement would be the outcome then career development progress now career development progress comes in the organizational culture the culture has to be that way that the more you perform the more you grow you grow along with the organization so accordingly you one has to understand that the hr approach if the hr approach is appropriate the outcome would be corporate social responsibility and equal opportunity no bias within the organization whether it's gender or non gender whatever it is there should be no bias within the organization and the employee would be engaged employee engagement has got certain factors it is customer engagement sales growth profitability and efficiency and innovation now this is a very common factor customer engagement now why what is customer engagement see if i am interested in my organization i'll see to it i'll get the most of my business for my organization for that i'll see to it that the, i will not allow my customer to leave the organization i will see to it that he is satisfied so i am satisfied with my outcome sales growth automatically when i am engaged my target is achieved i am focused automatically the sales will grow profitability for the organization efficiency and innovation now i become effective in my work because i like to do the type of work i am doing so i become more efficient in my work and i come out with various modes and means of finishing my task which will probably increase my productivity ultimately leading to organizational profitability what drives it now there are these are four factors which drives organizational commitment i first we need to understand the organizational commitment now here it is again the psychological commitment or you can say the emotional attachment with the organization the moment you feel that this is my place you will definitely take care of that particular place this is my organization you will definitely take care for the growth of the organization now you what happens is this is what is organizational commitment next is service commitment service commitment is you need to take care of the ethos the ethos is the ethics what the company follows the ethics what you follow so that the customer needs are also fulfilled in the rightest manner so that your organizational name is also not get hampered as well as you work according to your own values and attributes then comes the work and career commitment now basically my individual commitment towards work is important but as well as my commitment towards my career is also important so when i take care of all those things automatically i get engaged job satisfaction now every day when i do my task i should not feel the pressure oh my god what am i going through oh my god why should i do this oh my god this is not what i wanted to do if these feeling comes that means you are not satisfied the moment you get a feeling you are enjoying it you are having fun at work basically that is what is job satisfaction and these are the four factors organizational commitment service commitment job satisfaction and work and career commitment leading to engagement of an employee now next we need to understand the role of hr in the concept called employee engagement now the first role is the person hr should make the person feel satisfied comfortable and boost them for their work now boost them for their work means he has to raise their morale motivate them okay you can do it no issues there is something new to learn give them responsibilities give them simultaneously some authorities to fulfill the responsibilities automatically the person will ex explore and grow now the engagement drivers now what happens is the hr has to take care of these three factors which leads to engagement now the first three drivers are right employees in the right job it is very important right person for the right job at the right place doing the right type of work now this mr right at the right place leads to motivation the person is self interested in the work work and definitely will go ahead in the organization exceptional leadership why exceptional leadership is important 
Leadership is not only about achieving the goal of the organization, but also developing the subordinates. If I get a leader who is definitely going to guide me for growth of other organization as well as for the growth of myself, I will be happy to get such a leader because that will keep me motivated. Organizational systems and strategies. Many organizations I have seen that they have got a very rigid policies and procedures in place. The moment it becomes rigid, it's a human tendency to break through the policies and procedures. Rather than doing that, if I have a policy or procedure which is a little flexible, which gives appropriate authority and the responsibility together and see to it that the organization achieves the goal as well as I get an innovative way of doing my task. So automatically I feel uh, motivated for working such an organization. Now that leads to positive impact on behavior. Now this leads to positive impact because what happens is psychologically I am relaxed, I am stress free and automatically I work for the organization. That leads to loyalty, better motivation and satisfaction and that leads to now all these things have to be initiated from the top management or the HR. Next is categories. Now these are the three categories what we need to understand. These are the type of people what we are working, what are, who are working in the organization. Now the first is effort without distress. Now that is what is engagement. Now you give an effort but without taking any stress. Working harder and deriving satisfaction. Distress without effort that is disengagement, giving up and feeling bad about it. Now you always feel distress without taking any effort. Because you are not interested in a particular act. Effort with distress is a strain. Working harder but the, with fatigue and anxiety. Now these are the three factors what an employee goes through in an organization. Engagement is 30% engaged. Now what happens is there are certain people in an organization who are 30% engaged, 54% not engaged and 16% actively disengaged. Now this is the combination you will find different employees in an organization who are at their engagement levels. So one needs to understand and enhance the engagement levels of an organization. Things important to employees. Now these are the things what are important to employees. First is knowing what is expected. Now once that is clear, what the superior is expecting out of them, it becomes easier to achieve. If a particular target is given to me, I know this is what I need to achieve. And automatically I will work towards it. And otherwise what will happen is the management is expecting something else, I am ex doing something else and there is no correlation between it. Having the right materials and equipment. Now if I need to do certain tasks, I need certain resources and those resources not in place will be make me disengaged. Opportunity to do what I do best. Now definitely whatever I am good at, I have got a particular set of skills and accordingly I can work. Now if I get the opportunity of doing those things, automatically I will be interested in doing certain things. Recognition and praise. Now this is one very important factor of a human behavior. They need appreciation. Money to some extent is important, but appreciation for every good achievement, if they get that, automatically they get motivated. Caring for me as a person. Now if a person is not considered as a person and he is just considered as an asset for the organization or just as a material for the organization or as a resource for the organization, then definitely he will not feel uh, free to work in the organization because he has been considered as other, others as computers, tables and chairs. Encourages development. Now the moment our management encourages development, automatically he will feel nice that okay, somebody is interested in me. My or manager is interested in me. My management is interested in me. And automatically he will become interested for the organization. Opportunities to learn and grow. What did your former company do poorly? Now when you go for an interview, this is a normal a question which is normally asked. Now what happens is a person leaves an organization and goes because he is not engaged with the organization or the work culture or the management. Whatever format you speak about but these are the certain factors what he is disturbed about. Either it's a poor management, lack of career growth and advancement opportunities, poor communication, pay inequities and if ineffective performance appraisals, lack of recognition, poor senior leadership, lack of training, excessive work workload, lack of tools and resources and lack of teamwork. One needs to understand all these factors because these are the factors which disturbs a particular individual and if these things are taken care, automatically the employee is engaged and will perform his best. 
factors for employee engagement now what are the things you need to take care where you want your employees to be engaged first is equal opportunities and fair treatment if i want to learn my colleague wants to learn they need to and they need to understand whom to give the opportunity or simultaneously see to it that he learns certain factors i learn certain factors so there is no inequity between us there is no bias which is done by the senior management performance appraisal now everybody is aware of it what is performance appraisal if i do better than others i should get more pay pay and benefits health and safety if proper gears if required if proper facilities are given for the performance definitely i'll feel nice about it job satisfaction communication and cooperation from the management is a must now we need to understand that employee engagement is an important aspect of hr in an organization for the growth of the organization now with this note i would like to end this presentation thank you very much god bless you